Gentlemen, welcome back to the Executive Outcomes channel. My name is Executive Outcomes, and today we're talking about the AC-1. Take your time. Why oh, don't you? T-Rex Arms AC-1, a plate carrier filled with accusations, mystery, and intrigue. Did they steal it from Spiritus? Who are T-Rex Arms? What is an arm of a T-Rex? These are all questions I will answer here at the Executive Outcomes channel right now. <laughs> T-Rex Arms, what's my relationship with T-Rex Arms? I like the Garantha method of disclosing stuff. So, I was hit up by T-Rex Arms and they said, hey, we like your Jim Jam, Lucas and Drew. They said, we're gonna send you an AC-1 as long as the chest rigs. No stipulations, no transfer of money. They just wanted to send it to me to have. And they're playing that 4D marketing chest because here I am making a YouTube video about it. So, we're gonna dive in and I'm essentially gonna talk about the AC-1. So I have two of them right here. In my research of the AC-1, it's now I got to give you the background. It's not the most extensive time wearing an AC-1. I haven't logged thousands of hours with an AC-1 on my body. I've done uh, as quick uh, research as I can on it, so you got to keep that in mind. It's not like a I've worn this for thousands of hours. You know, what I mean, it's not. It's not. This isn't that case. This is uh, this video is going to be more so my observations. Uh, my takeaways and kind of like what my opinion is on the carrier so it's nothing gonna be too crazy the reason for this if you're like hey I came here for answering technical questions dude uh, if you don't follow the T-Rex Arms media machine that they are they legitimately answer all the technical and the, the technical questions in-house so if you head over to their YouTube or their website which I did because I was like well I want to see what more they have to say about it. And I watched all of their content on the AC-1. And they do a very good job of answering all the technical questions. What place will this fit? Is this adaptable with this? Uh, how is the interchangeability? Stuff like that. They answer all of that. They have the plate sizing on their website. So it's for me, it's more redundant. And you get to sit here and kind of see uh, more so what I think on it if you care about that. Which my opinion, in my opinion, I'm a grown man telling other grown men <laughs> on the internet what I think of. A tool, essentially. <laughs> I am the I am the tool. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, YouTube! We All got right. to about two minutes before the laughing commenced. Camera guy, you you are such a mother. Sometimes I love you. So I essentially what I did is I thought. All right, the AC-1. What is the thought process behind the AC-1 in my research that I did? Essentially, they their thought process with T-Rex Arms is they wanted to equip uh, the masses. They wanted to equip the common man, the everyday guy, uh, with a plate carrier, which is kind of cool. It's actually very cool if you think about the grand scheme of Second Amendment culture and including as many people as possible. 
when you have a new buddy that's getting into guns, and he's like, hey, dude, I, uh, I'm thinking about making the plunge. I'm thinking about taking the red pill and getting into firearms. What's like the number one handgun you, you recommend? You don't recommend uh, some high-end, top-tier handgun. You usually recommend, and we're all going to say it together, the Glock 19. Very good. All right, so it's like, to me, the T-Rex Arms AC-1 is essentially going to be becoming the Glock 19 of the plate carrier world because it's coming in at a price point that's where it's like well it's not crazy expensive everything comes with that you need and you can scale it and it's it's actually like it's gonna hold up and it, it looks cool like it it's I, I don't really have any big complaints with it so let's dive into it some more how I have these two set up is I have let's regard this first beer back there I have a more overt setup of a T-Rex arm AC1 where I try to scale it and make it as like uh, big and bulky as possible. And then I have a, a, a legitimate slick setup. So I have a slick one right here and it's essentially set up how it would come out of the box with your clips and then your cummerbund. And uh, if you're wondering why it's in black and how I got one, forget about it. Good easy, it's a fugazi, it's up and it's down. But essentially this is the thought process to show off the YouTube. Overt and covert or low key or slick. Uh, I left the clips on here just because I didn't feel like dealing with it and it's like if you want to take the clips off and you're, you're being that secret squirrel with a plate carrier then uh, it's up to you. So what did I notice? Well, I'm actually going to put a plate carrier on and talk because I feel like you'll be able to see it better when I'm going over stuff so let's do that now. So on this plate carrier I'm running some uh, 762 plates. What I did is to try and speed up the process of uh, wire retention. To try and speed up the process of kind of understanding the comfortness, what I, comfortness? Comfort, that's not even a word. <laughs> Who, yeah, I'm gonna fire my rider. Who's our rider? Ah, that's me. Word of the wise, if you're ever trying to put a plate carrier on in a hurry and it's like, you gotta find your straps. You strap, you gotta strap on the plate carrier, wait. <laughs> All right, so I set this plate carrier up with the uh, intentions of going more so of a outward uh, threat appearance. Everyone in this room, is now dumber. This is gonna be like the, I'm not trying to hide this as much. It's still scalable to where you can hide. You can ditch a lot of things on here, move stuff around, you can hide it under a jacket pretty well if you're trying to go uh, under the radar. So that's the thought process behind this. And I was like, well, we're gonna have the two sides of house with the upscaled and the downscaled. So as far as if you wanted to run a, a more uh, upscaled rig, I just did with the three rifle mags and a radio the pistol mag, there's medical and an HSP pouch down here, as well as you have the options of the side cover button up here. I, uh, I, I'd have to adjust a little bit more. My mobility, range of motion for getting the stuff along the sides of my plate here is kind of limited. I, I kind of like, I get stuck. So I try to intend to leave a lot of, I wonder how loud this is gonna be when I edit a video. So when I, the, the, my thought process when I'm running a, a plate here like this, such as a slick where it's running off retention to hold your body as well as Velcro. Uh, I try not to overload this type of carrier too much, especially so they don't have any swift clip buckles to go into this. Uh, those are, if you can start integrating the, the swift clip system into this, then it's gonna be a little bit better for load bearing. But even still, it's like these designed plate carriers, if, if they're designed as a slick, then it's not necessarily the best idea to start uh, throwing too many things on there. Otherwise, you're kind of going outside of the wheelhouse of the plate carrier. But then again, this is America, so you can do whatever you want. My initial takeaway, so to speed up the fatiguing process, I have my heaviest plates in the plate carrier. They are high comm, seven and a half pound plates rated for 30 out six black tip. Those definitely worked on fatiguing me uh, pretty quick. So I was wearing around the house as well as at the range, running and gunning for a little bit, nothing too crazy. It wasn't a long duration of time. Uh, I mean, that's the X factor of like, how long do you plan on wearing a plate carrier for? What's your threat window of, you're getting into stuff that's like, I, I'm trying to not get into right now, which is like a whole bunch of X Factor things. You're getting into stuff that's like, all right, hey, okay, dude, let's, I'm just gonna watch a play game. <laughs> it's a serious channel, damn it. Where was I? So comfort. Comfort's a big deal because I don't want to die too uncomfortable. Like if I'm dying, then it's probably gonna be like, it's not gonna be a great day, but you know, whatever, like you'll, you'll wing it. That's kind of the thought process. These straps, are, they're very low profile straps and they're not designed for a lot of weight dispersion. So the more weight you un uh, add to yourself and your body, the, the higher your, of course, it's like a given, but the higher your discomfort, your fatiguing will be 
throughout the longevity of you wearing the plate here, depending on your weight. These don't do the stellarest job of dispersion, but they also do a much better job of concealment. So, I mean, that's, these, are, these are things that we have to consider. So on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and head on over there. It's, it's a good medium for me to interact with people. I asked on my story, threw it up for 24 hours, uh, what questions do you have about the AC1? And the responses I got are big, smooth brain energy. So uh, stitching, a lot of technical questions, but I'm gonna go over the questions that are like, actually important to me so uh where was it uh how much spaghetti does it hold well depends on how you pack the spaghetti but it should hold a fair amount at least a few servings of spaghetti if you uh maybe if you dial it in and, and uh appropriately apply it to each pouch freeze dry it whatever price tag quality hydration no one cares about that are hugs still comfy this is a good question so when you're out on the range on the on the flat range the square range larping with your boys and you're all wearing your ac ones are the hugs still gonna be comfy here we go <laughs> That was actually pretty solid. That was pretty, so pretty good. That's good. I <laughs> What is this channel? Bought fuel filters on Amazon. Will it fit my dog? Ah, kiss your dog goodbye, buddy. Also, to the ATF agent watching my YouTube video, please don't shoot my dog. How does she smell? Ah, smells like end user. Smells like uh, if you get your scent on it, you'll, you'll, you'll get it. Mine smells like uh, greatness and excellence. Actually, I have Spiritus here with me today, and they're going to answer some questions about it and how they worked with T-Rex arms uh, in, the, in the process. Spiritus, uh, wait, what's this? What do you... Cease and desist. So as far as running comms, uh, a, a setup as, as that you want to get going, the T-Rex arms doesn't really offer a lot of... Uh, mounting spots for certain comms. This is a Disco 32 PTT setup integrated with comms. Mom, how'd you get this frequency? Nah, yeah, I'm doing another YouTube video. What do you mean, how am I talking to you without a mic? Not not necessarily a good natural mounting spot. I had to just get jiggy with it, just throw it on the collar over here. It's gonna get in the way. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna be like feeling it when I move my head around and start doing stuff. It's just a quick to show it off. There's uh, I try to mount it to the shoulder straps and other stuff like that. If I truly, if I wanted to, I could, uh, unscrew some stuff and and wrap some stuff around it but that's getting a little bit too extreme uh, it's just I, I think when you start it, it's doable to add more stuff to it it's just you're starting to get outside his wheelhouse in my opinion i think it's a good slick plate carrier for like immediate like hey uh there's civil unrest i want to have plates on my body and i can hide it and scale it easily as well as maintain a little medical on me and maybe a radio you can do the old lapd style of radio talk where they always whip out the radio and talk to it you can do it that way. The PTT is still doable depending on your setup. With my setup is just not the best, so I don't want to generalize for everybody, but these are things I noticed for my own setup. Real quick, we'll do a jacket test with the overt setup. Let's put it on. Jacket test. Camera guy, how do I look? Super sweet. Super sweet. Do I look super cool? No. Oh, well, it really looks a little bulky. Does it, if me and the hands in the pocket, do I break up the silhouette? Yeah, uh, on the back, you can definitely see the plates. They feel like dark out, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, uh, I'm not trying to like creep away, but like, hey, why does the guy have a balaclava and contacts? Like, uh, parkour! Parkour! So as far as comfort goes, there are other much comfier carriers on the market. Carriers designed to be worn, not in the slick configuration. So as this comes out of the box, it's, it's essentially a slick. And slicks just aren't comfy, okay? At least in my opinion, like you can wear them and you're gonna be just fine. You're not gonna like die. It's not gonna kill you from uncom like uncomfiness. <laughs> uncomfiness from discomfort so <laughs> oh my god a bunch of jagaboons a carrier such as the first beer strand hog in my opinion uh this carrier is like peak pinnacle carrier technology compared to an ac1 it just has more padding more weight dispersion more insulation on the inside you have the option of side cover so as far as scaling it up this carrier <laughs> camera guy struggling to get a shot <laughs> moving all over the place this carrier uh, is going to outclass the AC1 every day of the week. But as far as concealability, this carrier is also larger. This one is designed more for outward carrying, and more so carrying where it's going to be in an overt setting. So these are factors you have to consider. Also, I really, I really hope, I know I, in my research of T-Rex Arms AC1 video time, uh, Lucas talked about not liking swift clips, but I, I think they're the jam. I think once you dial in where they are, having the, qu the clip access uh, where you can quickly, like, like the tube technology, I think, in my opinion, that's uh, stellar. Because if you're constantly going to use Velcro, Velcro is going to wear over time. Uh, once you dial in where you want to have your stuff and you can tube it, 
I think that's the way to go. But this is just one man's opinion, so uh, type your angry comments in the comment section down below. It helps with the algorithm, God. If you're that angry, then and you made it this far in the video, then I don't know what to tell you. All right, so we're gonna throw the black carrier on. Just a good, good, slick, low profile, secret squirrel stuff. And jacket test with nothing else on it. So you saw all, all the whiz bang gadgets. I hate when my guys saw me like, that gun has every whiz bang laser on it. It's like, dude, okay, dude, it's first off, they're tools, all right? So I'm in a non permissive environment, all right? In a non dynamic situation. LARPing my mom's basement. Okay, so for whatever reason, if you find yourself wearing a plate here with this low profile, low vis, things have gone bad. And uh, hopefully you don't find yourself in that situation. But on the bright side, at least you got uh, plates in baklava. I mean, a ball of clava, so that's some perk. All right, camera guy, how do I look? Saucy. What's the uh, signature of this plate on me? Nothing. Nothing. Cool. My opinion, my overall opinion, I think, I think it's cool to see other companies making plate carriers. There's nothing wrong with having more tools on the market. And I don't think by any means that this it's not a quality plate carrier. Uh, is it like an LV119 ripoff? I don't necessarily think so. I think Thero, uh, Spiritus, and then now T-Rex Arms are all getting after the slick market, which has become very popular amongst American civilians here in the last recent years. And so I think it's just, they're just hopping on the, essentially creating a product they want to see. So I think that's exciting. It's another tool to have in your arsenal. I'm all for having more options and more tools because like they said, if you just watch their stuff, which I'm, giving you the boiled down version of my lens. How, how I'm giving you the version of how I view things, essentially is what my YouTube channel all is. So with the, the big coof and all the civil unrest and the election and political environment, a lot of gear is flying off the shelves right now. We have millions of new gun owners in America and they're all thinking, hey, I, it's cool. I armed myself with a carbine, a handgun, whatever they may have, but now I want armor. And so that became apparently clear for people. And I think trying to get a hold of a good quality plate here at a, at a reasonable price is gonna be pretty hard for a lot of people. So when T-Rex Arms dropped the AC-1, it's actually pretty good timing. And so that's a really cool factor. And they are also pretty good at shipping and getting orders and having customer service. So from a business side of things, I give them a, a big old thumbs up and they do a good job. I'm not saying other companies don't. It's, it's just they, in my opinion, looking at just them, they, they did pretty good with this. Is this the do-all, end-all, be-all plate carrier? No, no, like yet again, no piece of kit is ever the one and done piece of gear. It's only gonna amplify what you are as a person, as a shooter, as an individual trying to not die. So these are things you gotta take into consideration. Gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, like and subscribe, do all that YouTube jargon. It won't hurt my feelings if you dislike it. If you're like, hey, I, I don't know why this guy has a ball of clava. It's because my my face is just so beautiful, I have to hide it to not lead you guys into sinning into temptation. It's just, it's a good Christian thing to do. Uh, if you want to support the channel, I actually just, I mean, if you made it this far, so it, it's wild to me. Statistically speaking, it drops off somewhere back, like, as soon as they start the video, they're like, wait a second, I didn't, I didn't mean to click on this. I was trying to watch a Grantham video. Uh, so if you made it this far, it's impressive. But if you want to support the channel, I have t-shirts that I do. I do those in-house myself at the time because the channel is small enough I can uh, work on those myself. Uh, I also just started a Patreon. So if you just want to ex nay and you want to give a little bit of amount of money, pledge it monthly, you have the option of doing that. It helps out with the channel, helps offset the cost. It is expensive. Our time, our money goes in the channel. It's something that we are passionate about, but we can't bankrupt ourselves the channel so this is me uh <laughs> this is me laying it out there gentlemen i'm executive outcomes i'll see you on the next video let's talk about the speed reload now 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 we're back into the fight. <laughs>